All right, <clears throat> let's look at problem number two. Problem number two is a relative velocity method problem. Um, <clears throat> a number of, you can't just memorize this problem or this figure, tons of different figures that I could pull from, tons of different uh, situations. <clears throat> mem mem not, don't really memorize the process, but know the process. All right, so this one, uh, rod AB is, is sliding horizontally, like there, almost like a horizontal slot with a velocity of 60 feet per second. <clears throat> Using a relative velocity method, determine the angular velocity of bar BC, also count the angular velocity of disk OC, state whether each of those are clockwise or counterclockwise. All right, <clears throat> even if I didn't say, say that use the relative velocity method, you, you would think, okay, bar BC, man, that's not in pure rotation. I can't just say V equals R omega <clears throat> to find the velocity of, of something like that. Bars that are not in pure rotation need to use some novel method, like the relative velocity method. So <clears throat> bar, the heart of this problem is bar BC, maybe using the relative velocity method for bar BC. Uh, I like to put the one that I know the least about <clears throat> on the left-hand side. So I'd say point C equals, uh, or velocity of point C equals velocity of point B plus VC slash B, and this is omega cross r c slash b omega c b <clears throat> all right uh and you know i i know that this vb is negative 60 in the i do i know this velocity of c uh, no i don't know the velocity of c but do i know its direction yes i know its direction i know its direction is <clears throat> straight here hey might, might be straight down might be straight up uh, I don't know let me guess one of these <clears throat> right but I know it's direction I know it's all in the um, <clears throat> J direction and I'm, I'm gonna guess that all in the negative J direction um, I might be wrong that my answer might come out negative and so I was wrong. Um, <clears throat> we were lucky that point C was just right on the edge of here. You know, if it was right on the edge of here, it, it would still be along that line. Uh, be able to, let me warn you, be able to, what if it was connected right here <clears throat> at maybe a 40 degree angle, <clears throat> the velocity would be right here. Uh, <clears throat> the direction of that velocity would be 40 degrees from vertical. Go back and, and look at those. <clears throat> all right, but we're lucky. It's all in the J. I think it's down in the negative J. <clears throat> so, VC. I don't know it, but go ahead and put it at, it at its direction. Negative VC in the J equals negative 60 in the I plus <clears throat> omega, which I don't know, but I know it's in the K direction, crossed with <clears throat> our... Let's see. I did C slash B, so that's from B to C. From B to C. 2.5. Let's see. The cosine 30 <clears throat> in the negative I direction. And then up 2.5 <clears throat> sine 30 in the J. So that, there's my equation right there. <clears throat> there's my equation right there. And it is okay that I have two unknowns. In fact, probably a good sign that I have two unknowns. Magnitude of VC <clears throat> and the angular velocity of CB. And I have two equations, my I equation and my J equation. My I equation, I've got nothing on the left-hand side. In front of the I's, I've got negative 60 on the right-hand side. All right, now which of these is going to show up in my I equation? That one, right? When I cross K, cross with J. I like to do this little circle here, and if I'm, if I'm going kind of in alphabetical order, I cross J equals K, J cross K equals I, K cross I equals J. If I'm going this direction, <clears throat> they're positive. Uh, but here, I'm going the other direction. K cross J gives me negative I. K cross J gives me negative I. So, uh, two, well, let me go ahead and do 2.5 sine 30 omega CB. And I, I would just go ahead and 2.5 sine 30, give that... A number <clears throat> times omega CB all right and then minus in the I equation that equation only has one unknown so I can solve for that I've got omega of CB is negative 48 radians per second what is that negative omega CB equals 48 radians per second um, 
clockwise. Well, oh, sorry, that negative means I chose the wrong direction. I chose positive k, and positive k is counterclockwise, so this is actually clockwise. All right. Then my j, negative vc, equals, all right, which one of these is going to show up in my j? Uh, this one right here. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and do 2.5 cosine 30 omega cb. <clears throat> and k cross i would be, let's see, k cross i. <clears throat> would be positive j, but there's a negative right here, so that's negative, all right? But here is, I'm going to plug in another negative 48 right here, right? I could plug in the negative 48 just straight to here, or I could have plugged in negative 48k right there. Either way, um, I, this is what I've got. Let me be very careful with the math here. Negative VC, negative 2.5 cosine 30, negative 48. There's my equation. And this would turn out to be, <clears throat> the way that I did this, VC of negative 103.92 feet per second. All right, so what does that negative mean? That negative means <clears throat> it was down. You probably actually saw it, it it was actually going up so if you had had a positive vc right here your answer would have come out positive because you guessed the right direction i had a negative i mean i sorry i guessed the wrong direction and so my answer came out negative uh no matter what we did all of us would have gotten 103.9 up 103.9 up <clears throat> all right one more step that's not what it really asked for it asks for the angular velocity of this. Well, if I know that this is 103.92 feet per second right here, uh, then what does that make the angular velocity right here? V equals R omega. 103.92 equals an R <coughs> of 0.5 times the omega of the disk. Omega of the disk is 207.84 radians per second. Clockwise or counterclockwise? Well, note that velocity of C was going up. That is counterclockwise. That is counterclockwise. Box that in right there. <clears throat> Let's take a step back and look. Look back at this. The heart of my problem was this blue link right here. And so I did v VC equals VB plus VC slash B. All right, we we're lucky that we just started by them giving us this 60. Sometimes this one is like connected to a wheel or connected to a link, and we have to work for that 60, a little bit harder for that 60. Uh, but they just gave us that 60 right there. And then point C, a lot of times for this point C, you know the direction for point C. The direction is kind of controlled by what it's connected to. It's not controlled by this link, this blue link. It's controlled by that disc, that wheel that it is connected to. <clears throat> so a lot of times you know that direction. Like I said, be, be able to handle something that's at, um, it's at some angle that's got a cosine and a sine <clears throat> right there. Then that long equation, you've got two unknowns. Um, but then sometimes you have this extra step. You know, right here, we got the velocity of C, but we wanted the angular velocity of the disk. One more, V equals R omega right there. All right? Not too bad. That might have been an easier one of these problems because this one was given right away from you and everything was all, oh, that was only in the I, this was only in the J. <clears throat> so look at some of those other problems. Make sure, make sure, make sure you can do this cross product correctly. The K cross I shows up in my J equation. The K cross J shows up in my I equation. All right.